your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Friday is here and we are looking for an overall pretty nice day. Just a little bit of extra cloud cover compared to the past few days, along with a little more heat and humidity for some. We'll make it to the mid 80s for highs for the inland areas this afternoon, hitting 85 in Florence and Lake City, 84 in Marion and Bennisville, along with Conway, up to 82 in Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach and 81 in Myrtle's Inlet with a little breeze coming in off the ocean. Heading out to a high school football game tonight. All in all, looks pretty good for you. By kickoff, mid 80s for the PD, around 80 along the Grand Strand, gradually dropping to the mid and low 70s by the time all is said and done and those games come to an end. What about for the CCU football game? For your Saturday, that forecast looks pretty good, although we'll have to keep an eye out for a slim chance of a shower or two in the afternoon, late afternoon, more so into the evening hours as the cold front approaches. Temps will start off by kickoff in the lower end of the 80s, gradually falling to the mid and low 70s as that game concludes. High pressure pushing off the East Coast will continue to keep us warm and humid into the start of your weekend. An approaching cold front will begin to move in with rain chances increasing late Saturday for the inland areas more so into the entire area on Sunday, a little unsettled as we head Sunday and into Monday until this front is off to the east by looks like Monday afternoon at this point with drier air finally coming in behind it to bring in some nice weather for the beginning uh, and middle of next week. Speaking of beginning, fall or autumn will finally begin on Sunday. The autumnal equinox 444 in the afternoon on Sunday. All in all, looks like it could be a little bit of a wet First day of fall for Sunday and even into Monday. Temps along the Grand Strand will stay around 81 to 82 through the weekend to the beginning of next week. With more sunshine by Thursday, we're back to the mid 80s. And wake up temps will generally stay in the mid, mid to upper 60s. So most likely needing the air conditioning after uh, many of us turn them off earlier in the week with those cool nights and pleasant days. Unfortunately, we won't see uh, anything close to those 70s for highs, mid 70s for highs like we had earlier this week. We will see mid 80s today for the inland areas, lower end of the 80s through the weekend, back to the mid 80s by the middle and end of next week. Again, though, cloud cover increasing across the area. Rain chances are up as well. Slight chance for the inland areas on Saturday, a better chance on Sunday and even into Monday as that next cold front comes on through the area before we start to dry out and warm back up a little bit by the middle of next week. So have yourself a fantastic Friday and a wonderful, safe weekend. Your latest news, weather and tropical updates can always be found on your website, carolinalive.com.